Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Everybody's talking about this. Uh, last night, CBS aired a two-hour special called Adele One Night Only. Yep, the special brought in 10 million viewers. CBS heard and was like, sorry, we met 100 nights only. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, more people watch Adele's special than the Oscars. Although more people are watching their ring doorbell cameras than the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In the special, Adele opened up about the pain of her divorce. It was tough to sit through right after I had to rewatch Squid Game just to lighten my mood. <laughs> that's right. Adele said that she knew she needed to end her marriage when she was doing a magazine quiz. Even crazier, it was BuzzFeed's Which Character from Hocus Pocus Are You? <laughs> Let's get to some news. Today, President Biden finally signed his $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. Yep, now we all get one day to celebrate before America turns into one giant construction site. <laughs> of course, by the time we actually fix all the roads, everyone will be riding in drones. <laughs> I'm excited about the bill. I mean, soon we can stop making the sign of the cross before driving over the George Washington Bridge. <laughs> so, uh, I love you guys. You know that, right? Some more political news today. Beto O'Rourke released a video officially launching his campaign for governor of Texas. Watch this. I'm running for governor, and I want to tell you why. I want you on the team, and I want to win this with you and for you and for all the people of Texas. Your aunt was like, until Bridgerton comes back, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> Can we see Beto again? Forget governor. He looks like he should be selling homemade honey at a farmer's market. <laughs> Two, two for 10 bucks? <laughs> Some business news. I heard that Costco just warned its customers of a potential data breach after they found a credit card skimmer in one of their stores. Or as the thief put it, I just bought some identities in bulk. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to spot credit card fraud at Costco because every purchase seems like a strange purchase. Like, what's that? $5,000 on cheese balls? <laughs> Actually, it was me. Sorry. OK, yeah, it was me. Sorry. My kids are playing in one of the cheese ball containers right now. It's awesome. <laughs> hey, I saw that uh, Gucci is releasing a special edition Xbox that comes with two controllers and a branded suitcase for $10,000. Check this thing out. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> great. great. Right after I just spent 12 grand on a Chanel PlayStation. Oh. Yeah. You know <laughs> Seriously, for 10 grand, a Gucci Xbox should come with Adam Driver and Lady Gaga. Well, get this, a new poll found that due to rising costs, nearly half of Americans will soon cancel at least one of their streaming subscriptions. You know, as soon as you cancel Netflix, you're going to hear your neighbor scream to the wall, what the hell? You go, <laughs> I was almost done with Squid Game. <laughs> Sorry. Well, this is very exciting. This weekend, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree arrived in New York City. <laughs> And I know what everyone is thinking. Yes, the tree has been vaccinated. <laughs> What's crazy is this is actually last year's tree. It just got here now because of supply chain issues. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, border officials in the UK found $44 million worth of cocaine hidden in the shipment of onion rings. Oh. Yeah, 44 million in onion rings plus another million in the one French fry that was in there by mistake. <laughs> Here's some good news. After being closed last year because of the pandemic, it was just announced that Times Square will be open on New Year's Eve for the fully vaccinated. <laughs> yep, only in New York City could thousands of people peeing and puking in Times Square be seen as getting back to normal. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah! We're back to... That's right, everyone there must be fully vaccinated. Officials say the only thing you should go home with is hypothermia. <laughs> well, this is a pretty crazy story. Apparently, Russia just fired a missile uh, that blew up one of their old satellites, and it created thousands of pieces of debris in space. Vladimir Putin was like, I'm oh, sorry, it was gender reveal gone way too far. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh... Follow me on TikTok. I have more videos like that. It's, I just goof off, have fun, stuff like that. Some news from the White House. Uh, last night, President Biden finally had his virtual summit with Chinese President Xi. It lasted more than three hours. 
Yeah, for three hours they debated a bunch of issues without reaching any kind of agreement. In other words, they celebrated Thanksgiving early. There you go. <laughs> That's right. I just, let's agree to disagree. Um, today, President Biden visited a structurally deficient bridge in New Hampshire to sell his infrastructure plan. <laughs> and he had to do a, a bit of walking, a bit of walking to get to the podium. Watch this. The President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. Thank you. We actually played that at double speed. <laughs> then Biden was like, oh, oh, hang on, I forgot my speech. <laughs> you want to start the American... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, President... <laughs> He's like, you got to be kidding me, man. By the time he got to the mic, half the bridge had already been demolished. Well... <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw that House Democrats are trying to pass a nearly $2 trillion spending package. But some people are worried that they uh, won't be able to unite in time to pass it before the holidays. A few Democrats have even released statements about the whole thing. Check this out. Congressman David Price said, We Democrats need to band together, or we'll end up paying the ultimate, well, my last name. <laughs> Next up, Congressman Josh Harder said, This bill should be easy to pass, but certain people are making it, well, my last name. <laughs> Congresswoman Susan Wilde said, this bill's got me so stressed out, I'm about to catch a flight to Vegas and go buck, well, my last name. <laughs> there's, there's, there's more, there's more people, there's more people. <laughs> Congressman uh, Karen Bass said, a lot of Democrats move their lips but don't have anything original to say, kind of like a big mouth Billy, well, my last name. <laughs> And Congressman Jared Huffman said, all this bickering and infighting makes me want to pull out a can of spray paint and take a big, well, my last name. <laughs> and Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester. <laughs> Lisa Blunt Rochester, okay. Lisa Blunt Rochester, she was like, same, I'm about to find an Airbnb in my, in my last name, then light up a big fat, well, my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's more people that say really? Yeah. After Congressman Al Green said, I just want to get this over with so I can sit back, relax, and turn on a little, well, my full name. <laughs> and finally, Congressman Charles Albert Dutch Ruppersberger III said, no comment. Uh, we'll get this yesterday. The Environmental Protection Agency announced the country's first national recycling strategy. Yeah. Then today, they announced the country's first national recycling strategy. Uh, today, they announced the country's first national uh, recycling strategy. Yep, the strategy is just one sentence. Stop forgetting that you have tote bags in your trunk. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow, it might, uh, yeah, well, it counts, right? No, it doesn't. Uh, finally, General Motors just announced that the chip shortage has gotten so bad, some of its new cars won't have heated seats. Ooh. Ooh. At the same time, Hyundai is reminding people that if their seats are warm, it's because the engine is on fire. <laughs> Well, guys, it seems like supply chain issues are causing new problems every day. I just read that uh, this holiday season, there's going to be a shortage of both real and artificial Christmas trees. <laughs> it won't be quite the same when your family's singing carols around a coat rack wrapped in lights. <laughs> I grew up with an artificial Christmas tree. Uh, they're the best. I mean, you just open it up like an umbrella. It's like, <laughs> instant Christmas. It smells like the basement. Meanwhile, this is going viral. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission 
tweeted a pretty intense graphic to remind people to water their Christmas trees. Take a look at this. Oh. <laughs> if you thought getting your kids to go to sleep on Christmas Eve was hard before. <laughs> Doesn't look like a message from the Safety Commission. It looks like a Christmas album from Iron Maiden. <laughs> Yet to avoid fires, water your tree. But don't worry about the long floppy sock you hang directly over your fireplace. <laughs> Fill it with coal. <laughs> Fill mine with gasoline. Yeah. <laughs> Some political news today. President Biden traveled to uh, the new General Motors electric vehicle factory in Detroit to talk about his infrastructure plan. It was Biden's fifth trip to Michigan as president. May not mean much to you, but right now, Delaware is like, who the hell is she? <laughs> Well, today, uh, the, the deer antler guy was uh, sentenced to 41 months in prison for his role in the Capitol riot. <laughs> right now, uh, he's trying to use an antler to lift the keys off a guard's belt. <laughs> Some news from overseas. Kim Jong-un just made his first public appearance in more than a month. Here he is. Let's take a look at him. Wow. Yep. Apparently, the original Matrix movie was just released in North Korea. <laughs> All the guys walking behind him are like, oh, only you could pull that off, yeah. <laughs> you look great in pleather. It took him 10 seconds to get into that coat and four bottles of baby powder to get him out. <laughs> hey, I saw that Papa John's is rebranding with a new simplified logo that doesn't have the apostrophe in John's. Mm. Yeah, here, check out the old logo on the left and the new one on the right. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> they also removed the word pizza entirely. <laughs> they said our, our lawyers told us we can't call it that anymore. Oh, legal. <laughs> Can we see the logos again? Yeah, honestly, it's, it's pretty similar, and I think that their new commercial is a little confusing. Oh, watch this. Here at Papa John's, we're proud to introduce the all-new Papa John's. You can forget all about Papa John's because this is Papa John's. So join us at John's Papa's for some Pizza John's today. Just look for the sign that says Joe Papa Jamas and ask for me, John Joe Papa Joe's. We'll serve up some hot Pajo Pajos faster than you can say Snow Ja Papa. So see you at Pon Pon Jappa Jappas under the Papa Jaja Pot Pot Pajas sign. Wait, don't you find that convenient? <laughs> Some more business news. Uh, Apple just announced that it's launching a self-service repair program so customers can fix their iPhones at home. <laughs> Do they really trust us to fix an iPhone? <laughs> the only idea we've come up with so far is to stick it in a bag of rice. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know if that works. But Apple will teach you to do exactly what they do in the store. Look at it for 10 seconds and go, we're going to have to mail this in. Did you guys see this? Uh, hey, did you guys see this? Mark Zuckerberg uh, just unveiled the new glove from Meta that will allow you to feel VR objects. Check this out. Why don't you go ahead and try taking one of those blocks out? The more complicated uh, interaction you could do with your hands. We, we can even shake hands. Finally, the technology we've all been waiting for, virtual Jenga. Uh, by the way, I'm sure that's exactly what it'll be used for. Uh, yeah. Rolling dice. <laughs> Don't come in! Don't come in! I'm, play I'm playing Jenga! Don't come Speak in here! Out. <laughs> I'm playing... I'm playing... Yeah. I'm playing Uno. Yeah. Uh, a can of paint. It's a tournament. <laughs> uh, finally, uh, a stream in Hawaii uh, that smelled like beer turned out to have a high alcohol content, and officials think it's due to an accidental spill from a nearby warehouse. It sounds like a miracle Jesus would perform if he was Irish. <laughs> I'm turning this stream into beer. <laughs> Please don't walk into beer, Jesus. Uh, yep, beer mixed with uh, water, or as it's also known, Coors Light. <laughs> Today, President Biden hosted a summit at the White House with the leaders of Mexico and Canada. Yep, basically, Mexico and Canada heard all of America blasting Adele and wanted to check in on us. You guys... <laughs> That's right. When Trump was president, the regular meeting between the three leaders never happened. Now that it's back, it'd be wild if the Mexican president was like, oh, and here's a check for that wall. <laughs> <laughs>
Of course, the leaders spent time talking about uh, immigration. Biden complained about the number of Mexicans coming to America. Trudeau complained about the number of Americans coming to Canada. <laughs> That's right, Biden's very busy. Tomorrow, he is going to pardon two Thanksgiving turkeys at the White House. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We're pardoning turkeys here. And uh, they just revealed their names. Their names are peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Come on. After this year, how are they not named Pfizer and Moderna? You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, thanks to supply chain issues, that's also what we'll be eating on Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, some business news today. CVS announced that it will close 900 stores over the next three years. Right now, J.C. Penney is like, wait, how did we make it through the pandemic and you guys didn't? <laughs> Kidding me? Sounds like a lot of closings, but all 900 of those CVS stores were on the same block. <laughs> <laughs> some more business news. I saw that TJ Maxx is raising prices on some of its higher-end brands. Yeah. Uh, I guess they're trying to give the whole store a more upscale vibe. Uh, check out this latest ad I saw. Introducing the new TJ Maxx, home of elegance. Loose sock beans. <laughs> Style. Knock off crocs. And sophistication. Feast fights in the aisles. DJ Max, the fashion capital that's right next to Home Depot. In the edge, yep. They're changing their image. Uh, hey, I saw that Oreo is coming out with a new cookie called Oreo Thins Extra Stuff. <laughs> What? what? So basically, they're just Oreos, right? Yeah. Like, can I see it again? Can I see the picture of it again? Oreo thins extra. <laughs> at this point, just cut out the middleman and start selling an IV bag of stuff. Yeah. Now, you know, at this point, right? We'll do that. <laughs> well, hey, this is fun. In a recent interview, uh, Dwayne Johnson said that he wants to be the next James Bond. Ooh. You'll know that he's been cast when they announced the next Bond villain is Carbs. <laughs> Yeah, instead of a martini, he'll ask the bartender to shake a dozen raw eggs. <laughs> I get this today. An original copy of the U.S. Constitution was expected to fetch up to $20 million at auction. Wait, they're auctioning off the Constitution? <laughs> Man, the U.S. really is running out of money, right? I didn't know you could do that. We're living through crazy times when a, a bored ape NFT is worth more than the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> And finally, I heard about a man in China who was banned from an all-you-can-eat buffet for eating too much. <laughs> in China, he's kicked out, but in America, they'd hang his picture and give him a show on the Food Network. <laughs> the FDA approved Pfizer and Moderna booster shots. And not only that, a jury in Wisconsin approved gunshots. <laughs> yeah, today, Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty on all five counts in the shooting that killed two men and injured one during last year's racial justice protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. It just goes to show you can do anything in this country as long as you're in the white. I mean, on the... <laughs> on the right. No, I'm in the right. <laughs> Let's move on to some lighter news. It was a big day for President Biden. This morning, he went to Walter Reed for a routine physical and a colonoscopy. <laughs> I guess Biden's infrastructure plan means all the tunnels are getting worked on. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't a typical colonoscopy. Really? No, before the procedure, Biden started talking, and the anesthesiologist fell asleep. Uh. <laughs> well, after his procedure, Biden took part in the annual presidential turkey pardoning. And last night, the two lucky turkeys stayed in their own suite at the Willard Hotel. Here they are. This is real. <laughs> yeah, e even weirder, uh, it was the fantasy suite. I heard that after their pardon, most presidential turkeys go to live the rest of their days on a farm in Virginia called Gobbler's Rest. And believe it or not, uh, all those pardoned turkeys actually have their own reality show. Watch this. Coming up on the next Real Turkeys of Gobbler's Rest, Marshmallow throws down the gauntlet with fudge. <laughs> Carrot gets drunk and belligerent at brunch. <laughs> and Butterscotch throws Caramel's prosthetic claw. Real Turkeys of Gobbler's Rest. 
hosted by Nick Cannon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Some more news from Washington. Uh, today, the House passed Biden's nearly $2 trillion Build Back Better Act. And here's uh, uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi making the big announcement. On this vote, the yeas are 220, the nays are 213, the Build Back Better bill is passed. Yeah. <laughs> Asked if that dancing was awkward, the yeas were unanimous. Uh, meanwhile, Democrats actually planned to vote on the bill last night, but House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy gave the longest continuous speech in House history to stall it. And this is real. He talked for eight straight hours. Just listen to a little bit of what he said. It's real. Picture America at a swim meet after World War II. I was in the sixth grade. I turn on the TV. I watch Jimmy Carter have a sweater on and tell me to turn the heater down. You ever eaten one of these baby carrots? They're just big carrots. They chop them. They charge you more when you buy them. Personally, I didn't think I can go this long. <laughs> he did that for eight hours. On the bright side, uh, when they heard that he could talk for eight hours straight, Uber was like, you're hired. <laughs> Some business news is how that Oprah and Reese Witherspoon are the newest investors in Spanx. Although, from now until New Year's, I think we're all pretty invested in Spanx. <laughs> and finally, McDonald's was just offering a big promotion on Egg McMuffins to celebrate the sandwich's 50th anniversary, and it was so popular that their app crashed. That's right, the McDonald's app totally stopped working. As a result, it was renamed the McDonald's Ice Cream Machine. Hey.